نه اشغال چندین ساله شوروی ها نصیبی جز تخریب و تحقیر برای ملت افغانستان داشت the uh, occupation of the Soviet Union in Afghanistan resulted in a destruction and humiliation of the Afghan nation. نه حاکمیت گروه های ارتجایی و افرادگرا مشکلی از افغانستان را حل کرد. And none of these problems have been resolved by the uh, extreme government that was running the country for years. و نه امروز اشغال خارجی توانسته است مشکلات را حل بکنه و حتی امنیت را در اونجا برقرار بکنه. And even now, the uh, foreign troops occupying Afghanistan have not resulted in resolving a couple of uh, terrible situations they are suffering from. ما باید هممون کشورهای همسایه و کشورهای جهانی تلاش بکنند که در خود افغانستان به دست افغانی ها امنیت سباد حاکم بشه. And the neighboring countries of Afghanistan should do their effort. best of efforts in order to give this opportunity to the Afghans to create their own security by their own hands. We, they have to reinforce the central government. We have to fight against the uh, poppy cultivation there and the drug trafficking from Afghanistan. and the economic pillars of people living in Afghanistan should be reinforced. سوال من این است که در این سالهایی که افغانستان اشغال بوده چقدر تلاش شده و کمک بین المللی شده که این مملکت اقتصادش از ورشکستگی و مردمش از فقر نجات پیدا بکنه. And my main question is that during these years that Afghanistan have been occupied by foreign troops, how far they have been able to contribute to the better economic situation there or to remove poverty. از زمانی که بنده روی کار بودم تا کنون تولید و کشت و تجارت مواد مخدر حداقل دو برابر شده در این زمان. As of the time that I was in office as president so far, the production and trafficking of drugs from Afghanistan at least have been doubled. من فکر می کنم که تنها کشوری که توانسته عملا کمک به افغانستان بکنه ایرانه. And I think uh, the only one and only country to have been uh, practically contributing to the situation in Afghanistan have been Iran as a neighbor. Uh, uh, building uh, roads which are very safe. Also contributing to the health and agriculture sector in Afghanistan. and some other issues which I do not have in mind. But other countries have not contributed likewise. And unfortunately, the security and peace in Afghanistan is more shaker than before. در پاکستان وجود دارند. And unfortunately, some of the groups who are contributing to insecurity in Afghanistan are located and living in part of Pakistan. و متاسفانه دستای خارجی هم در کار هست که نگذار پاکستان که یه دوره خیلی خوبی برای تجربه دموکراسی و پیشرفت داشت بتواند روی امنیت رو ببینه، اختلافات رو بهش دامن میزنه و بحران ها رو هر روز ایجاد میکنه. And we can see some foreign hands uh, in action not giving this opportunity to Pakistan to uh, experience the democracy that they have established and they are contributing to conflicts among ethnic groups. There is a story, our story, that I would like to share it with you. Um, Um, a man who was uh, very ugly. Or a woman. Uh, no, or a I woman, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> who knows? <laughs> Why man? <laughs> anyway, someone, male or female, who was very ugly, uh, cuddled a baby. In hey, nawazish mikar in kudak aram besho unam jigesh bishtar dar miwad bishtar geriye mikar. Though he was cuddling the baby and saying nice things to the baby, but the baby was more and more getting furious and crying and whipping. And 
Someone came and uh, told him that just leave the baby alone. He would be quiet. That your face is the real cause Hala, of this crime. Unhai ke azon suye dunya rami oftan ba idde va odde mian amniyat baray ma ijad bokanan khodeshon manche na amni mishe. Az shum mikhan ke khayesh mikunim dast sasar ma bar dari ma khodemo mitunim amniyat o sabat o pishraf ro tamin kone. So we see that uh, some uh, troops are coming uh, all the way from other side of the world there in order to establish peace and security there. We tell them that just leave them alone, they would not cry anymore. And the final... Jim, right here. Thank you. Please let me just be clear that the person who has the microphone present is not the person who I, I hope we are observing the rights of the people who are sitting up there. Unfortunately, it's very difficult to manage the technological perspective. So two questions. The second question from, from you there, please. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Khatami, firstly, welcome to Australia. Uh, you mentioned in your speech that it is the right of each individual to be able to pursue their goals and their interests to the best of their ability. However, the Baha'is, who represent the largest religious minority in Iran, continue to be refused entry to public universities due to their religious convictions. Now, the Baha'i faith, its central tenet is unity of peace and of fellowship. Can you please, I have two questions. The first one is, for what reason are Baha'is continually being denied access to these universities? And secondly, to what extent will the government facilitate their entry and allow these young, capable and intelligent Baha'is to pursue the right that you mentioned of pursuing their goals to the best of their ability? Thank you. Man arz kardam تئوری هیچ گونه منعی برای پیروان ادیان مختلف یا گرایش های مختلف برای برخورداری از حقوق شهروندی وجود نداره نه در قانون اساسی ما نه در قانون های مدون ما as i stated in theory at least on the paper in our constitution uh, the rights of all the citizens should be observed and they should not be deprived of their rights البته ممکن است در بخش های بعضی سختگیری های کارهای خلافی انجام بگیره که در همه جا این امکان وجود داره ولی این رو نباید به حساب حکومت و نظام گذاشت Of course uh, there may be some wrong doings or uh, not observing the rights of some of the citizens here and there in any country but it should not be uh, justified or defined as a the part of the government itself only از جمله در دوران ریاست جمهوری خود من بعضی شکایت ها اینجور بود که بعضی سختگیری های میشه برای ورود به دانشگاه یا بعضی فعالیت ها برای بعضی از هموطنان ما Even during my term uh, in office as president I've been receiving uh, some claims that uh, there have been uh, some problems uh, rejecting the rights of the people some ethnic groups or religious groups getting into universities که من برخورد کردم I faced it I removed this obstacle تلاش کردیم که این مشکل که تا حدودی توسط بعضیایی که تنگ نظری داشتن حل بشه and uh, I removed this obstacle through uh, lots of efforts and the ones who were not that much open to these rights uh, uh, they were uh, actually uh, we did our best to refrain them from acting such من به عنوان شهروند ایرانی عرض می کنم که واقعا برای برگزاری مناسک برای برگزاری رفتارها در ایران به عنوان حکومت هیچ گونه منعی برای هیچ یک از شهروندان وجود نداره as an Iranian citizen, I would like to reiterate that there is no uh, obstacle on the way of conducting the rituals in the country, by the government at least. And the basis to get admitted to university or get assigned to different jobs uh, is not theoretically based on uh, the uh,